Hey planner babes, Ashley here from Ashley Anderson Creates. Today we are going to be setting up a mini on the go planner. So let's see, what day are you guys gonna be watching this video? The goal is on Monday. So if you're watching this on Monday, happy Monday. I hope you have a great week. But as of today, Monday, the day that you're watching this, I have started working as a new nurse and I wanted a mini on the go planner. I didn't, I mean, I used to carry around my classic whenever I was in nursing school. I didn't mind one bit because I had a giant backpack and I had books and so, and that like it kind of matched the scene, you know what I mean? But when I go to work, I just wanted something small to carry so I can jot down things. I have a quick reference or a schedule. So whenever I am at work, if I'm creating a schedule and stuff like that, I have this with me. And then vice versa. So if I have my work schedule, I can just stick it inside of here. And then any important information I need to transfer out of here into my into my uh, classic catch all planner, I can and vice versa. So these two here are really, really, really going to work well together in my classic catch all. This is well, maybe my planner is a mess right now. You guys, this is my classic catch all planner. Literally anything and everything goes inside of here. This is like my main hub. This is where schedules are appointments, what we're doing, kind of the bulk of, of our life is right here in this week. And then this one is going to be very similar, mainly just the major items. So I'll show you really quickly and we'll set all of this up here together in just a second. But like this is the first week that I planned inside of here and I have my work schedule, my son's Cub Scout meetings. That'll probably be it that goes on this page or on that day. And then here I have my work schedule and I have a team call. Here I have work and then I need to film a video on Wednesday. So that'll probably be the other thing that goes here because that's like a major thing that has to happen on Wednesday. Third, like, I mean, you get what I'm saying. It's not going to be a ton of things. It's going to be the most important things that we need to get done that day. So I have my schedule and then we'll also set up the monthly section together and I'll show you guys that process. And then at the end, I do a full flip through of everything and I walk you guys through that entire process. So let's go ahead and dive into my mini on the go planner setup. All right, here we go with the setup. Now to do the weekly spread, I'm going to be using the nurse sticker books. These are from the happy planner. And I initially was going to create a spread inside of my classic planner with the nurse stickers. So I already had everything laid out onto the wax paper and then I changed my mind and didn't do that spread. So I just kept everything on the wax paper and I used most of those stickers inside of the weekly spread. So we're gonna get the week all set up and ready to go. We're going to get the monthly section set up and ready to go. And then I'm also going to set up the deluxe cover that I have for a mini. Now with the monthly section, because April is almost over, there's only a couple of weeks left. I just kept it super simple. I didn't use a ton of stickers. I went through with washi. I did some layering and then I put in my work schedule for the rest of April and my son's Cub Scout meetings. And then he also has his spring camporee. So it's a camp out thing that they do every year. They do one in the spring for Cub Scouts and one in the fall. And so that is at the end of April. This is a cutting mat that I picked up at Walmart. If I can find a link to it, I'll have it down in the description box. But I wanted to take that washi tape that I have and split it in half to make it thinner. Because when you are in a mini, some of the wider washi tape to put it over the days of the week, it's kind of too much and it doesn't leave you with much writing room. So I split it in half and then I'm going to use this washi tape to note my work days. The pen that I'll be using throughout this entire process is a Sharpie S gel in .38 and I'll have that one as, as well as my other favorite pens all linked down below in the description box but I really love the Sharpie S gels. I have it in .38 and .5. 
and um, I've used the 0.5 for months now and then I recently picked up the 0.38 I didn't know I don't think that they originally made the 3.8 and then they come out with them so I'm incredibly thankful for that but here I had to cut that washi where I had layered it down there in that bottom corner I had to cut some of that off to make room to put the other washi for my work schedule and then to also have room to write in my schedule that is the monthly section all set up like I said I wanted to keep it super simple and to the point since there's only a few weeks left so now that we have that set up we're going to get the weekly um, the first week that I'll be planning inside of this planner we're going to get that set up and ready to go using the nurse stickers so when I plan inside of a horizontal I whether it's a mini a classic whatever it doesn't matter what size it is when I plan in a horizontal planner I think of it in sections of three and the first section there is going to be my work schedule now the other the purple and the blue box that I put down the blue one on Monday is for my son's Cub Scout meeting the purple one on Tuesday is for my team call normally those would go under um, that first section in my planner but because those boxes are a little bit bigger and I also put the cute little nurses there it didn't really fit so I just set those off to the right side but normally I keep like scheduling things in that left column um, underneath the days of the week and then from here it was just kind of decorating laying out stickers I wanted to keep this kind of easy kind of quick again most important things are going to go inside of here this this could be like my overview planner I don't know on the go overview whatever you want to call it All right, here I am writing in my work schedule for the week and I'm also filling in that blue and that purple box. And then you'll see me in a second pull out a sticky note. On Wednesday, I need to film a video. Um, that's the plan anyways and that's why I put it on a sticky note and I didn't make like a sticker for it or whatever. It might end up happening on Thursday, but the goal is to get it done and posted on Wednesday. So that's why I used a sticky note. Now that the monthly and weekly sections are all set up, it's time to start accessorizing my planner. So this box here is where I keep all of my dividers or dashboards. I use those two words interchangeably they mean the same thing they're dividers I will put one in the monthly section of my planner and also one in the weekly and when I do this I like to use one of the skinnier ones for the monthly section and then one of the wider ones for the weekly section And then this little container is from Ikea. And inside of here I have a bunch of random things, but the first thing we're gonna use are these clear label stickers. And I will have these linked down below. I picked these up on Amazon. I love putting these on my divider. And so I just picked out the two that I wanted to use. I, what did I use? I used, I gotta look at my planner, hold on. I used calendar for the monthly section and then daily for the weekly section. And then I just started digging through this little box that I have. I love this one. It's one of my favorite little containers. It's got a ton of random things in there that I just love looking through. I pulled out some things that I want to stick in my planner. I didn't end up using the sticker sheets. I used to carry those with me when I was in nursing school. Um, but I pulled out some sticky notes and different things that I wanted to use whenever we get the deluxe cover on there. The 
deluxe cover is from the Happy Planner. I've had this for a couple of years. If there are any available, I will link whatever I can find down below. These are really, really hard to find, but I have sticker sheets in here from when I used this in nursing school. Um, the first, well, I don't remember. Maybe it was my, was it my first year I used a mini? Anyways, I used to use a mini as well as a classic in nursing school. And so I have these cute little paper clips that look like Ray Dunn mugs. And if you know me, I love Ray Dunn. And I wanted to use one of these in there. In there. My only downside to these paper clips is how stiff the paper clip is, which I ended up just bending it out a little bit. So I stuck that paper clip there in the front that says hustle. And then I put the sticky notes down there beside it. And then I left that st the other sticker sheets that I had. These ones I was going through, I didn't end up sticking these in there. Um, I will probably end up using them though, especially in the monthly section because those little icons are awesome to have in the monthly section. And now we're going to get a notes section set up in the back of the planner. And usually I would put a divider um, back there, but I decided not to. It was kind of making it a little too thick. Normally I don't keep an entire planner on one set of discs because once you start adding stickers and dividers and different things like that, it gets really thick and it's hard to turn the pages, which you'll see I end up pulling off some of those pages and putting them on a separate set of discs. But even then it felt a little bit thick, so I didn't add a divider to the back. But the happy notes that I'm using right now, this one is one that I created from all of the note sheet that I have note sheets that I have I just stuck them all together and then the other one the navy blue one that's from the indigo collection which is such a gorgeous collection that one has some blue happy notes paper in there and I pulled some of that out so I'm just pulling random sheets of happy notes paper to stick in the back this is where I can jot down quick lists or schedules or notes or anything that I need to remember um, to have inside of my planner Here I'm taking the extra set of discs and like I said I pull off a few months up until April I pulled those months off and I put them on a separate set of discs and then I'll just store those um, on my shelf and I thought about taking a few of the months out of the back but I didn't end up doing that now you'll see me here in just a minute the currently page for January is also on the other side of that is the yearly planning pages and I wanted to keep those because I thought maybe I'll use those for my schedule for work and so I wanted to keep those, but I didn't want it to say January on the back side of them. So you'll see me take a Happy Notes and some Tombow double-sided tape. And I'm going to adhere a Happy Notes sheet to that January currently page. And then it'll be blank. And I don't know what I'll put here. If I'll put anything, I might just leave it blank. But this was just a way to cover up the January currently page. And then still allow me to keep those yearly planning pages in the front. Here you'll see me messing with the cover. I didn't know if I wanted to keep that that cover on it if I wanted to flip it around. I have a couple of other minis. I was kind of looking at those covers trying to decide which one I wanted to do but I ended up leaving it with the cover that this planner come on and now we will do a flip through of this planner setup. So there's the deluxe cover with the sticky notes and the stickers. When we open this thing up we have the name page which I love and I need to make a a sticker for that we have the year at a glance and then these are the yearly planning pages that I wanted to keep in here because I can write in my uh, work schedule in there and then here you see the blank sheet that I have to cover up that January currently page then we go into April monthly section where I have my work schedule and again I use that calendar divider there and then we go into the weekly pages where I have the first week all set up with that daily divider
And from there, I'm just gonna flip through the dividers of the rest of the month. So we have from April until December of 2021 inside of here. I love these dividers. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. And then at the end, there is my notes section. And back here, I just have a bunch of random happy note pages. Just depends on what I'm writing down, but I'll have plenty of options back here. And then I stuck the Sharpie S Gel 0.38 pin in the pin loop that's on the deluxe cover. And that, my friends, is how I set up my mini on-the-go happy planner. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.